Good morning. This is Carmen McCullum with the Times newspaper. I am over at Gary Roosevelt College and Career Academy with a group of students who participated in an engineering competition at Indiana State University. They also participated in speech and debate and one other competition, architectural. So here they are to introduce themselves to you. Hello, my name is Jasmine Martin. I'm Devin Hale. I'm Darnell Harris. So tell us about your drone pollination project. So what we did, we was given this task to design the scientific tools of discovery, and that was our challenge problem. So what we did, we looked into mainstream media, and we decided to see what problems are in the world that we can fix. There are several problems that we actually looked over, but this is the one that actually caught our eye, the dying bee populations. So what this is, around the world, bees are dying off left and right from an unknown cause. But scientists have labeled this as a CCD, colony collapse disorder. And what this means is that there are problems within the beehives that's making them die off. Some of them are stress, pesticides, and parasites. One of the main parasites that's actually causing this is called the varroa mite. What this mite does, it goes into the hive by hitching a rod on one of the worker drones, and it lays its eggs where the bee lay their eggs at, and when the larvae hatch, it eats out the inside, like all the bees and everything. It eats out the other bees and eventually takes over the hive, and that's how this is happening around. And so what we decided to do, we was gonna make a drone pollinator from already existing technology, because as you know, you're not supposed to like make anything new. You take what you have and you make it better, and you keep improving on this. So, <laughs> we decided to use a drone because a drone is the closest thing to a bee. And what we did, we looked at several materials such as pipe cleaners, felts, and cotton. And when we tried, we tested out and decided that. Pipe cleaners was the best option to match the fur, the fur on the bee's legs that collects the pollen. So basically what I'm going to do right now is show how a bee, a, well, a drone will act as like a bee collecting pollen from uh, flowers with the pipe cleaners at the bottom of the uh, drone. So basically what it would do, it would just brush, it would just brush past the flowers 